save our progress. Upon entering the ruins, your nose is assaulted by the musty odor permeating the area. Soon your eyes adjust to the lack of light and you feel determined to find out what you can in here. Save progress as the labyrinth. The labyrinth. All right, so folks, we are in the labyrinth on Minotaur Island. We are progressing very rapidly here, so take it easy. Um, we're in the door. Okay, so we got to go forward two times. Forward two times. One. Nope, that's the other way. Okay, this that's the entrance coming in. Now we gotta go forward this way. Forward one two Alright, go right Alright. Um What's this? Rubble. In the corner of the room, you see a pile of rubble. All right, let's get it. A Barty rubble. Rubble! You bend down and sift through the rubble. As luck would have it, you find a small cog in the pile. You take it with you. Excellent, folks. Excellent. We got a small cog. Let's examine it. It's a small cog from some kind of mechanism. Cog feels light in your hands. Save progress. All right. And what's next? Okay. Is there anything else? Um go forward three times or go left first left no. let's try going forward three times One, two, oh, skeleton, horn, a horn presumably once attached to the skull on the corner lies in the fall floor. A bull's skull lies in the corner of the room. How, how it got separated from the body is something you'd rather not consider. A large skeleton. A huge, a huge skeleton lies on the floor. That's odd. It looks like a mix of human and animal bones. I guess there really was a Minotaur in here. I wonder if it starved to death. I doubt that. Take the horn. You decide to take the horn? It might make a suitable weapon if you run into any mythical beasts in here. Let's examine it. Save progress, labyrinth. <coughs> it's a large horn. The horn feels strong and sturdy. So we got the horn, we got the, 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 the cog. skull. For a brief instant, you can start taking a skull with you to put on your wall back home. We decide that would be disrespectful. Besides, it's missing one of the horns. It's a strong and sturdy horn or bull. 
is the horn on the stone peak. Let's find the horn. Use the horn on any of these walls. What do I do now? Let's see progress. One. Oh, frescoes. <clears throat> Time has not been kind to the fresco. The years have worn away the paint, making it nearly impossible to tell what it depicts. Okay, uh, let's use the horn on the fresco. You can't really see how that would work. Okay, that wouldn't work. See the progress. Let's move on. Oh, what's this fresco? The fresco is in pretty bad shape, but you can see that it depicts a bull. All right, let's use the horn on that one. So. It's a bull. Let's move on. Back down, go right. Down. Two times. Oh, another fresco. This fresco is of surprisingly good condition. It depicts a young man, probably a hunter or a fisherman or something. One more time. Apparently not. Hmm. Missing something. Oh, what's this? Stone plate. It's a large stone plate with a medium sized hole in the center. Mechanism. A couple of gears are set in the wall. Part of the mechanism seems to be missing. Okay, and I know what to do. Let's get our cog mechanism. You place the cog in the hole and are pleased to see that it fits perfectly. Excuse me. So we've got a so solution here. It's a large stone plate with a medium sized hole in the center. Use the key on the hole. Won't work. Okay, but we have to use the horn first. Use the horn. Use it on the stone plate. The horn seems to fit perfectly inside the hole. You put it in and twist it like a lever. All right. Something's opening, like an Indiana Jones trap. The gear comes to life. You hear the sound of moving stones somewhere in the labyrinth. What just happened? All right. Go back down two times. You replaced the missing cog, so the machine is now repaired. So you stick your fingers in the gap, it, no, but nothing happens. Yes, the machine wasn't designed to work that way. This way. Okay. Let's move down. <coughs> times back down go right go out let's go back up Retrace our steps. Mm -hmm. All 
All right. So we have to go down two times. One, two. And then we got to go right. All the way down right. Keep going. Let's go up this way. So we've already opened the stone, we've activated the stone plate with the horn. We have to go right now, right screen. What's in here? Opening, okay. You s it seems that a secret opening has been revealed. Okay, save progress, no, save progress and go into the opening. The opening is too small to crawl through. You don't think you could lift the door without help. Let's try getting the let's get the horn. You stick the thin part of the horn in the door frame and push as hard as you can. Ah, oh, we got it. Open sesame. Save progress. Let's get in here. Whoa, what is this thing? Your attention is immediately drawn to the large mosaic in the alcove. Oh, wow. The mosaic shows a stylized representation of a sea person pointing to a strange shape between two islands. That must be the location of their underwater lair. Save progress as secret map. Let's use our, our notebook on this. Mosaic. Good idea. You quickly draw a sketch of the islands and their positions depicted in the mosaic. That information will definitely come in handy. Save progress and mapped and labyrinth as well. I think we got what we need here. Left then right. Left Cover the fresco. Let's go out the outside the fresco room, the secret map room. Go right. And go down three times. One. Two. Finally three. There we go, folks. We did it. We got we survived the labyrinth. Okay, 
Let's head on back. Let's take the dinghy back to the boat. They board the dinghy and head back to the boat. Save our progress, uh, fishermen. Hey, Captain! What is it? All right, let's talk to the captain. Hey, Captain. What is it? Let's ask a question. I wanted to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Well, let's go back to Egea Anna for now. Can we go back to Egea Anna? I think I'm starting to get seasick. No problem, boss. I'll take it back. Okay, we are back. I'm going home. If you want to go sail again, come see me. There we have it, folks. We've done our mission. Um, so AK Anna, we're back to AK Anna. Save our progress. We'll continue our day. Gamers, thanks for watching play Ben Jordan case number six, Scourge of the Sea People. We are we've successfully uh, obtained uh, the uh, secret map from the labyrinth, and we're going to continue on another day. We'll meet up back with uh, with Simon, see if we can uh, get together a uh, a plan for our mission. How we're going to. Uh, deal with these sea people that are troubling Agiana. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below. Share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, all the social media sites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, to get the latest updates on the latest videos I'll be doing. Uh, check out my Facebook and Twitter. Check out links below. This has been uh, Video Gamers Always Play Theater. I'm your host, The Big Geek. Thanks for watching, and we'll t stay tuned for some more great gaming videos on Video Gamers Always Play Theater. We'll continue our adventure with Ben Jordan, case number six, Scourge of the Sea People. Till next time, bye. Step by step, the clock is ticking, but there's no time for me.